at 0.5 milligrams, they didn't see an attenuation of the luteal rise in allopurinolone, uh, obviously secondary to that progesterone spike in the yep. luteal phase. So it may not inhibit enough of that substrate. Uh, then we have, does dutasteride have the same more or less of an effect on progesterone, dihydroprogesterone, allopregnanolone levels, meaning does dutasteride have less risk for neurological side effects, larger molecule, so less likely to cross the blood-brain barrier, question mark. Uh, so to that latter point, I, I think the answer there is a, a no, that it can pretty clearly cross the blood-brain barrier. Yep. You know, referring back to the study on PMDD at the mm -hmm. 2.5 milligrams, at 0 0.5 milligrams, they didn't see an attenuation of the luteal rise in allopurinolone, uh, obviously secondary to that progesterone spike in the yep. luteal phase. So it may not inhibit enough of that substrate to you know, get progesterone into dihydroprogesterone in, in, the, in the brain, in the central nervous system to have a clinically significant effect. Um, in a male, that's theoretically different because there's much less substrate to be converted. You know, progesterone levels are going to be many, many times lower. Yep. So you may be getting a complete inhibition there, but I think it would be about the stability of that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also think about things like pregnenolone. I don't know that it's been like evaluated even that dutasteride lowers pregnenolone levels. Um, I know that in men who have been on finasteride for a period of time that I see, they almost always have undetectable levels of pregnenolone, and you see that in the published literature as well. So not a perfect answer here because we just don't have the data to draw from. Um, but I will say, you know, personally, with finasteride by itself, I felt like I had a little bit of uh, OCD tendency that started to appear. So I went off of the finasteride and been on dutasteride now in combination with finasteride and did not experience that side effect. Mm -hmm. So take from that what you will. That's my N of one anecdote. Um, I certainly think dutasteride for most people would be less likely to cause, I assume that's what they mean by neurologic side effect would be mm -hmm. things like anxiety, depression, and so forth. Yeah. Um, there's also some models that, um, despite what you would think with the isoenzymes, the amount of conversion to allopregnanolone is actually better on dutasteride than finasteride. And perhaps this is one of the reasons why females tend to tolerate dutasteride much better than finasteride, which we've seen anecdotally in um, hundreds of female patients who probably have uh, half, if not more of our patients as uh, female patients. And a lot of the time, especially after they no longer desire fertility, um, they, many are good candidates for dutasteride as well. Yeah.